In this new tutorial from Videoproc, I'll show you how to easily crop a video. Cropping a video basically means cutting out a portion of the frame. Like in this case, for example, I have the full video of myself right now. And if I do this, now the video is cropped to leave out a section of the frame that I don't want. The reason why you crop videos is usually to adjust the framing and composition of the shot to make it better or to highlight and emphasize a certain element in the frame or simply to cut out some elements from the shot that you don't want in there. If you're new to the VideoProc channel, make sure to subscribe to get our latest actionable step-by-step -step tutorials on video editing, converting and processing. Now, let's uh, start cropping a video. All right, so let's see how we can crop a video in VideoProc Converter. So on the welcome screen, you have to choose the button that says video and here we got to import our file so we can either use uh, this button right here to navigate anywhere on our computer or in our case i'm just gonna drag and drop it from my desktop and keep in mind i'm currently on a mac but it's the exact same process on both mac and windows so once i have the video imported here all you gotta do is click this button right here where it says crop and as you can see, we have a guy on a laptop and towards uh, the end of the video, he gets a little bit angry. So first of all, let's enable the crop here. For the preset, I will uh, keep original because I want to maintain the aspect ratio. And then you just drag it here on the left and you can see the preview on the right. So let's say we want to focus on his facial expression because it looks super funny as he's getting angry. So uh, yeah, let's see how that looks. All right, let's say I'm happy with that. Click done. And uh, now all you have to do is uh, choose a export preset from here on the bottom. I would suggest you go to popular and select MP4. Then here where it says output folder, you got to select the folder where you want to export and then click run to start the cropping and the export. All right, so now we are in VideoProc Vlogger. I will just... Uh, quickly create a new project and uh, here on the top left is where you can import your uh, media so I'll just uh, select our video from the desktop and now I have to import it on the timeline here in the middle and select uh, this button right here that says crop and again as before we have the original on the left and on the right we can see the preview uh, so I can adjust the crop area here, but as you, as you can see, it's pretty flexible. So I need to go to aspect ratio and select the original to make sure to keep that uh, white screen 16 by 9. Crop it like this, adjust it just to focus on his face again because he gets really angry. All right, let's say I'm happy with that. Now it's time to click apply. And when you're ready to export, just uh, click export here. But before that, uh, if you want to add some other footage or some sort of audio, this is the program that you can use to do that. So when you're done, again, just click this button where it says export. There's some uh, settings here. You can select the output folder as well, the file name. Uh, for the settings, I'm just going to select high quality, leave absolutely everything else as it is by default, and then just click start. All right. So for our last option, we will have a look at Adobe Premiere Pro. So first things first, I'll just create a new project called Crop. And uh, here the way this works is, again, like before, we have to import our media here in the media bin. So I will right click here, click on import, navigate anywhere on our computer where we have the video file. In our case, it's on the desktop. So after the file is imported, Again, I have to drag and drop it here on this other side on the timeline to create a new sequence. And the crop works a little bit different in uh, Adobe Premiere Pro because there's, I mean, there is a crop function, but it's a little bit more advanced. But to achieve the exact same effect as we just did in the previous two options, all you have to do is have the clip selected. Then you go here where it says effect controls uh, motion and you can adjust the variables for position and scale. So first I will just start with the scale to zoom in a little bit like this by dragging, like holding and dragging. And then I will adjust the positioning a little bit horizontally and then vertically as 
well. So when I'm happy with the result, it's time to export it. And to do that, you go to File, here on the bottom where it says Export, Export Media. There's a bunch of very different settings that you can use. I suggest you leave everything as it is by default. Uh, go with a format that you like. In our case, let's uh, let's go with H.264. It's super, super popular. It's going to be an MP4. Uh, you can go to Output Name to select a location on your computer. And then just click the Export button to start exporting the new cropped video. All right, those are a few options on how to crop a video. As a quick recap, here are the main differences between the three of them. VideoPro Converter is an all-in-one video processing and converting tool, very simple to use, but the free version has a limit of videos up to 5 minutes in length. VideoPro Vlogger is a free and easy to use video editing software with no limits and no watermarks, while Adobe Premiere Pro is also a great video editing software but it's very complex to use as it's aimed at video professionals. That's today's video. Thanks for watching. Let me know what you think about today's tutorial in the comments below, or if you're using another solution to crop your videos, let us know. If you have any questions, drop them in the comments and we'll do our best to answer them. If you found this video useful, be sure to smash the like button and subscribe for more useful tutorials like this one. See you soon.